Thank you so much for doing this fight. From a fan, from the fan perspective, this is one of the best of the year. Um, I know that you're going in with heart and with agility and athleticism. Um, and how are you going to use that moving up to fight a bigger guy, as they say, a bigger guy? Well, you got to be in better shape because if you put on more weight, you got to have a um, more attributes and abilities to move around the ring. So it's not too bad. It's not too hard. And it should be. It should be everything, you know what I mean? It's going to be fun. It's going to be fascinating to see what I can do. I'm testing my own will. I'm testing my own skills, and, and I'm hoping that I can uh, get a chance to, to show the world why, why I'm great. Jamal, most of that. the most when he steps in the ring with you? I think you're going to be more surprised by my power and my, my, my strength that I do really, really have, and I pack a different type of punch. I feel like I got I hit like a light heavyweight, so we'll see. Any words for the culture? Hey. Keep up with me. We All right. We, we got you. Would you ever want to get a belt in an email? Nah, I wouldn't want a belt sent to me thinking that I, you know, so for anybody that's in boxing, if you, if you receive a title, if you receive a title and you receive a title because somebody, like, you don't fight for the belt. No belt that I received have came from um, not knocking somebody out. I got in the ring to get my title. No, nothing was passed down to me. So I don't understand what those dudes over there don't understand. Give me my title. Let me fight my. Let me fight under Speedy 168 with my 54 belts, and then I'll come over there to 54 and give me at least 30 to 90 days after that fight, so I can come to 54 and and, and say what I want to do with the titles or how I feel. They let everybody else do it. Right. Not me though. Okay. They just never fucked with the Charlos. Couple Terrence, more questions, okay, guys. Terrence posted a picture of him and he said, "You're next, new cup, whatever." You smile. Like, what, what, what do you think about all that? It's funny, they, hey, you know, at one point we was like, oh, everybody's just using you for clout, you know, over there when he was with Top Rank now. He not with Top Rank, then he with uh, Al Heyman, so I can't tell him he's using me for clout no more because it's a possibility that the fight can happen. So, shit, hey, keep posting me, dog. Thank you. I love you. I give, I give, I give, I give, I give Terrence Crawford his props. He did a great job. He won the fight. He made history. He's living the dream, and that's awesome. How do you visualize the fight with Canelo when you, when you see it in your head? It's years in the making. So oh guys, man, it's uh, your head it could be, it could be, it could be a superior fight. It could be a top dog type of fight. Um, it could be, a, it, it could be a fight that is like, you know, for the ages to talk about. What, when did you realize like I can beat him? Because I saw, we saw it in the all action. It's goal. been a long time, long time ago. Thank you guys, yeah, Carlo. Go. You've been hanging out with a lot of Mexicans in your last century. You said, what's Thank your you favorite guys. Mexican dish? Um. I, you know what? I, I really like tostadas. Look, she just told you, right? Tostadas. Tostadas, bro. Hey, Charlo, one more question, man. Hey, Alicia's dating. Would you be able to sell that chips around here, man? No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know.